Hello friends, I am back again with the new tutorial. Adaptive linear neuron we will be talking about here, Ardeline. So let us understand the algorithm first. Step 1 is to, uh, weights and bias are set to some random values but not zero. Set learning rate parameter alpha. So unlike in perceptron where we were taking weights and bias value to be zero, but here we will not assign them zero value, we will assign them some random values. Step 2 is to calculate the net input to the output unit. Yn is equal to b plus sigma xi wi i equal to 1 to n where n is the number of input neurons and b is the bias. w indicates the weights and x the input vectors. Step 3 is to update the weights and bias for i equal to 1 to n until least mean square is obtained. What is least mean square? That is t minus yn. T, the numerical value of t minus yn is known as the uh, uh, error value. So how will you update the weights? Wi new is equal to Wi old plus alpha t minus yn xi where alpha is the learning rate, t is the desired output, yn is the net input to the output neuron and xi is the input vector. Now let us discuss the Adeline model. See these are the input neurons and this is the output neuron and we calculate yn that is net input to the output neuron and then after applying the activation function we get some output. But after calculating the yn value, we check for e equal to t minus yn. If this has some numerical value, then we repeat the process all over again. But if, if, it, if it comes out to be 0, then you will find out that the, uh, that the new weights will be same as the old weights. So we will stop the process at that time. So now let us look at some question. Here the question is to use Adeline network to train and not function with bipolar inputs and targets perform two epochs of training. Now what is n0 function? n0 function, the output of the n0 function is true if the first input is true and the second is false. And what are bipolar inputs? Bipolar inputs are 1 and minus 1 just like bi binary inputs are 1 and 0. So we will construct the truth table first then we will go with the algorithm that is we will in we'll initialize the weights and bias to some random values. We will assign them 0.2 value here. So w1 equal to w2 equal to b equal to 0.2 and we'll assign the same value to learning rate alpha that is 0.2. Now the weights are calculated until least mean square is obtained. So we'll see for the first input that is x1 equal to 1, x2 equal to 1, t equal to minus 1. We calculate yn value, yn is equal to b plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 which comes out to be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 into 1 plus 0 0.2 into 1 that is 0 0.6. Now we check for t minus yn. T minus yn value is minus 1 minus 0 0.6 is equal to minus 1.6. Since this value is not equal to 0, since this value is not equal to 0, we will update the weights. W1 new equal to W1 old plus alpha t minus y in x1 that is W1 old is 0 0.2 which we initialized plus 0 0.2 is the alpha rate minus 1 minus 0 0.6 into 1 that comes out to be minus 0 0.2 similarly we calculate W2 new which comes out to be same 0 minus 0 0.12 and B new also comes out to be minus 0 0.12 now you will see delta W1 what is delta W1 delta W1 is alpha t minus y in x1 which is minus 0 0.32 Delta W2 is equal to alpha t minus y in x2 which is minus 0.32 and delta B is equal to alpha t minus y in which is minus 0.32. Okay, now we can compute the error. Error is equal to t minus y in whole square which is minus 1.6 whole square is equal to 2.56. Similarly, we calculate for second input. Second input x1 equal to 1, x2 equal to minus 1, t equal to 1, y in value comes out to be minus 0.12. Now, you calculate t minus y in which comes out to be 1.12 since it is not equal to 0, we will apply weight updation, bias updation. See, w1 new is equal to w1 old plus alpha t minus y in x1. Now, what is w1 old? w1 old is same as w1 new in the previous case that is minus 0.12. Okay. So, w1 new equal to minus 0.12 plus 0 0.2 into minus 1 into 1.12 into 1 that is 0 0.10 similarly w2 new is calculated w2 old which is same as w2 new in the previous case that is minus 0 0.12 plus alpha into t minus y in x2 which comes out to be minus 0 0.34 similarly you calculate b new which comes out to be 0 0.10 now you calculate uh, mean square error that is t minus y in whole square is equal to 1.25 similarly you calculate for third input these are the values w1 new w2 new and uh, b new you calculate delta w1 delta w2 delta b these are the values which will come after solving now let us see for the fourth input 
uh, applying the same procedure for the fourth input these are the values which we will obtain wine is equal to uh, 0 0.21 then after applying weight updation we will get the value of w1 new as 0 0.48 w2 new as uh, minus 0 0.24 b new as minus 0 0.27 and error value will come out to be 1.47 with the completion of all the four vectors of input epoch 1 is set to be completed now for epoch 2 you have to start again that is for first input x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to 1 t equal to minus 1 calculate y in value that is minus 0 0.02 now what will be the value of w1 w2 in this case which will be the same as w1 and w2 in the previous case that is the fourth input in the first epoch okay so uh, uh, after com after covering all the input vectors epoch 2 will also be completed and you will get the final values like these for x1 x2 t you will get y in t minus y in like this delta w1 delta w2 delta b s like this w1 w2 b like this and error values you will get, you'll get like these see let us see okay, what is happening to the error values see this is 2.56 1.25 0 0.43 1.47 and in epoch 2 they are coming out to be 0 0.95 0 0.57 0 0.106 0 0.8 now if you calculate total mean square error for epoch 1 you will find out it comes out to be 5.71 while for epoch 2 it comes out to be 2.426 so you see the error has been reduced so this is basically the functionality of adin algorithm thank you friends if you like the video please like and subscribe